Okay, we're going in with some coral in the front. And after that, we're doing some orange and then into some yellow. And now we're going in with some deeper red on top of that, which is going to blend the colors really nicely. Now she's going in with some purple in the back, which is a really interesting color placement. This is different. I was not expecting something like this at all. So like A for originality, girl. She went in with some green and some blue. And yo, she is going for it. This is going to completely change her look. And I am so ready for it. I wonder if she always does crazy colors like this like this is wild these are the prettiest colors i don't know if she mixed them herself or what but they are gorgeous and they are giving me everything pride right now and i am so ready to see this canvas be dried and clean and i want to know what this is gonna look like please tell me that this turns out good because i will be literally so distraught if this doesn't look good all right this is ready to be washed out carefully so that the colors don't mix together that's a much. wild um, moment wash it off wash it off i want to see it <sighs> orange Ooh. green red and pink a custom mix moment we love it all right so i'm just going in with the base color green all around the sides and back of his head where the hair is shorter I'm gonna go in and take my first section and just start establishing the pattern that I want to create then orange then red then pink then purple and I'm just gonna repeat that pattern as I go through and um, something I find really helpful the smaller the brush the easier it is to control and put the color exactly where you want it when you're going through um, instead of painting from top down try starting like where the bottom of the section is gonna be and then painting upward oh my god the patience on this girl i'm gonna start with the yellow so i'm gonna start wow this is mesmerizing that way if any other colors accidentally overlap it's already got that yellow in place as a barrier and so it's gonna just stay yellow i usually don't start at the top it's easier to start at the bottom and middle just because it locks that hair into place if you start at the top the hair is kind of not really stuck down yet and so you can get hair dye kind of all over the place wow and ends and then work your way up to the top and the hair won't move and i'm just going in with my second section so instead of starting with blue i'm gonna start with purple since uh in my pattern uh purple just comes right before blue she is so talented too like she is taking extremely precise sections and then going on to my third and final section for this part uh, i'm gonna take kind of like a bigger section just because this is my last one and i'm gonna start with pink on this one starting with the yellow is a genius idea the entire head isn't going to be rainbow it's just going to have uh highlights or sections of rainbow almost throughout the neon green base that's fun i can't wait to see that this is like the best hair dye i've ever used pretty much what we did to create these colors is i went and i got some paper plates i got every single of the x mondo colors and i just opened them all up put some conditioner on the paper plate and then just added different colors until i got each color that i wanted the thing she's doing right now they seem to be easy but i promise you it's not she's changing the patterns she's mixing in the mint green in between the the rainbow kids should be able to have fun with your hair i'm so sick of parents being like no you can't color your hair until you're 18. girl if you're a parent out there let your kid color their Okay, life is too short. If that's what's gonna make them happy, let them do it. Not telling you how to parent or anything, but a little bit. It's not about you. It's about the kid being happy. And if you don't want your kids to be happy, then you shouldn't have had children anyways. Whoa, where's this all coming from? Should we cut that out? No, let's leave it in. And then again, I'm just wrapping everything up in either mesh sheets or tin foil. Let's see the finished result. <laughs> Oh my God, if my child isn't like this, I'm returning it. <laughs> I think she's mixing up her own colors, which I love. I love a custom moment. It's like, what color is your hair? It's custom actually, yeah. You can't get this on your own head. You can try, but not gonna happen. We're starting with some yellow on the sides of her head. Oh, okay. I feel like this yellow is not dark enough. Sometimes even semi-permanent color starts off really light and then develops kind of dark. So I'm hoping that that's the case with this or else I feel like it's just gonna kind of not do much. Um, that is quite the color mixture. I'm into it. The only kind of hesitation I have is because her hair is so short, I just feel like it's gonna look like, I don't know, maybe a little strange, but also I've definitely done stuff like this where it's just like a bunch of colors laid next to each other on short hair um, and it looks pretty cool. I'm also a little bit worried because she keeps painting the hair downwards onto her scalp and not going the other way and not sectioning at all. Even though her hair is short, she is going to need to section it in order to get all of those roots evenly or else she's gonna have a ton of spotting and ugliness going on okay we are going in very s a little sloppy there oh come on come on girl you can't just put it on the top of your head 
is not gonna turn out good. Why are we not even sectioning? We're sectioning nothing. Please don't tell me she's gonna actually leave it just like that, like, and not go underneath the hair. No way. You guys, come on. Did we just paint over the the section we just did as well. Okay, it looks kind of cool. It's looking a little risky right now. It's a little, uh, I'm not really sure what, what it is right now. So we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a bit, kind of get an idea of what we're working with. Please be decent. I want this outcome to be decent, please. So I think it's about that time. We've had this on for about 15 or 20 minutes. It's not gonna be cute. I look like a hot mess right now, and I look like kind of like a fool. Like, if you ever called me a clown before, then uh, you're right. I do like these colors on her. I think they really bring out her skin. It's not the best, but it's not bad. And I'm glad you tried it. Those looks were sick. Kenning. I don't usually pick favorites, but that kid was looking sick. That brought me so much happiness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>